Good evening and welcome to another episode of uh, On Stage with Mantis. This week we have a solo artist, um, formerly, presently, futurely, with the band New England, Mr. John Fannin. He will be interviewed this week by the lovely and talented Rob Bernstein. Thank you. Thanks for my introduction. You're lovely? And talented. And talented. That's great. And a boy, Rob. So, John, uh, just maybe a little background on kind of you know, where you're from, where you grew up. Uh, take us up to present. Okay. Uh, well, I uh, was born in Boston, grew up in Jamaica Plain, um, went to parochial schools, <laughs> um, was an athlete when I was a younger, young boy. Yeah. What, what sport? Uh, baseball, football, a little bit of basketball, um, a few injuries, bad knees, bad collarbones, stuff like that. Um, but then uh, when I was a teenager, though, I got the music bug. And I got my first guitar when I was about 15 or 16 and, and uh, never put it down. Was it the Beatles on Ed Sullivan kind of thing? It was. I couldn't wait every week, absolutely. The Beatles and then Dave Clark Five and the Kinks. And Great. So you were in bands in high school. I definitely was in bands. And um, I was actually had been playing guitar for nine months, and I was a lead guitar player in a band. <laughs> I wish I had recordings of that. Who knows how good that was? But I was doing gigs. Yeah. Good, good. So after high school, you I think you went to UMass, didn't you? I did. I went to UMass, uh, studied aerospace engineering. And then, um, but music never left. I just, uh, just this is what I wanted to do. Well, aerospace engineering, music, it's a nice marriage. <laughs> it's a nice there. blend. <laughs> good. Okay, so uh, fast forward a little bit. Tell us a little bit about uh, the band New England, kind of how that happened. Well, you know, the, in the 70s, it was a very vibrant, and it probably still is, but a very vibrant music scene. And, um, and people were coming from all over the country, all over the world. And um, there was a place called the Groggery. Um, that was in Alston. It's no longer, but it was my favorite bar. But, and it was kind of where all the musicians would hang out. And um, I first saw this band from North Carolina. Uh, they were called Fatback. And it was a three-piece band with a lead singer and no guitar player. And Jimmy Walder was the keyboard player. And I said, these guys are cool. You know, they're doing like Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, and Yes, and you know, all kinds of cool stuff. Um, so anyways, we got to meet and um, uh, became friends. And then uh, Hirsch Gardner, I actually met Fatback separately. And uh, long story short, we all ended up in a band together. Uh, so it was Hirsch Gardner and um, Gary Shea and Jimmy Walder and me. And for a while we had a lead singer and we were doing clubs all over the Northeast and the Midwest. Excuse me. And um, then, uh, then I got recruited to be in the Annie McLoon band. And Annie McLoon was from Waseca, Minnesota and she had a deal with RCA. And um, you know, when you're trying to make it in the music business, that's, that's what you do. You gotta, you gotta go where the opportunity was and it was my chance to do my first album. And uh, we did tour for about a year, and then that went away. It just um, never quite made it. And at that point, being in and out of bands for many, many years, I, I, I just decided if we're going to do this, you know, we got to have songs. We, and so I started writing songs and on my own. And um, after about three or four or five months, I started coming up with some songs and uh, called up Gary and Hirsch and Jimmy and said, you know, you want to do this. So uh, we just woodshedded for a couple of years. We didn't play out. We just developed the New England sound and you know the songs. And we did uh, a few demos in Philadelphia. And the third demo that we did had Don't Ever Wanna Lose Ya, Hello, Hello, Alone Tonight, and I believe Shoot. And when we finished that demo, we kind of all looked at each other and went, OK, I think we're <laughs> onto something here. And um, we met some local promo people, and um, well, and they actually eventually got us to O'Coin Management, and then O'Coin Management started bringing down all the record labels. And uh, kind of a funny story about that whole experience, though. We we had people like Clive Davis and um, Ronald Luxemburg, and uh, um, um, I forget his name, but from Chrysalis Records. I mean, every major label was coming down to see us, but we always provided the limousine to pick them up at the airport. And then when they were going back to the airport, the limousine driver would report back to us <laughs> what they thought, what they said. Um, so we always had that in inside information. 
But anyways, we, you know, we had all kinds of record labels after the band, and we signed with Infinity slash MCA, and um, met up with uh, Paul Stanley and Mike Stone, Mike Stone of Queen and Journey and Asia of Fame, and of course, Paul Stanley of Kiss. And uh, history was made. Don't Ever Want to Lose You came out, and we were off. So how much impact did Paul Stanley have on the first record? Was he there while you were tracking or mixing? He was there a lot of the time. He wasn't there the whole time. Uh, he was there the first, um, certainly the first few weeks, maybe the first five or six weeks. He did have to go out on a, uh, I don't know if any of you remember, that Kiss All did solo albums right around that time. And he uh, had to go out and promote his CD, uh, or well, LP back in those days. So he was gone for um, you know a couple of weeks, but for the most part he was there, and his and his impact was there wasn't a lot of arranging to be done because we really had sussed it all out, so it, he didn't have a, a big impact there. Um, but if my memory, uh, if I, if I remember, I don't think it, "Don't Ever Want to Lose You" originally had a guitar solo of all things, and and he just looked at me and says, "You know, this is a rock song. You got to have a guitar solo." <laughs> So of course we did put a guitar solo in it, but but he was he was great, you know he was great to work with. He's a, he's a good guy, um, and Mike Stone, a tremendous engineer, and also just they were both just really good people to work with. Yeah, that's uh, interesting to hear. Um, so you guys went on tour after that to t promote the record. Yes, we uh, we started. Um, well, our, our record release party was kind of cool. And don't forget now, we, we had not played in two years. You know, we played in our rehearsal hall. And um, I hadn't been a lead singer. I did it a little bit when I was younger, but I hadn't really been a lead singer in, in many, many, many years. So that was a, kind of a big deal for me, too. Um, but we, we did a little Northeast um, uh, tour of about five or six dates uh, with the Outlaws. And I think you might have seen us at one of those shows. I did at the, uh, the pier in New York. OK. So we did those shows, and we might have done one or two others, but eventually we ended up, uh, I think we did, uh, we did a headline in the Santa Monica Civic Center, which was kind of cool because the record was only just out. And I think we headlined in Denver, maybe Seattle, San Diego. And after we did that, then we jumped on the KISS tour, the Dynasty tour, and we did, I think, 45 cities with them. And that was just an unbelievable experience. And to this day, I would say most of our fans, that at least that we know of, had seen us on that tour, so that introduced us to the world. Well, I mean, Kiss was one of the biggest acts at that time. Exactly, and uh, it was fun. And so, you know, some cities we would do two shows, and um, Madison Square Garden was one of the w was a little scary of a show. They, the, everyone was telling us around backstage that this is a very difficult uh, place to play when you're opening up for Kiss because it's their hometown. And, and they said, it doesn't matter how good you are. You know, they were telling me, making sure I duck when things get thrown up on stage. <laughs> I'm thinking, holy cow, are you kidding me? But anyways, uh, it, it didn't happen. We came out and we just, you know, we just took the audience and we, we just had them. It was, um, as most of the time we did, it was, it was very cool. Of course, it helps to have a record on the radio so people actually know who you are. Right. Any, uh, like, you know, no brown M&M stories or anything <laughs> you can share? <laughs> Well, I, I could share, like, one story, um, you know, now we're feeling our oats, we're feeling like we are rock stars. And, and, it, and it's amazing to be out, you know, from the, from the garage to playing to 20,000 people. I mean, we just made that leap. Um, but um, um, it, our first show was at the Omni in, in Atlanta. We got off to kind of a bumpy start there because we, were, we had followed into a radio station right after Kiss had been in there. And the, uh, the DJ was baiting me, you know, because he said, you know, uh, Ace was just here, and he says, you know, they're going to wipe the stage up with you guys, and you guys are amateurs, and he just went on and on on how bad we were. And so uh, I, I let out this infamous statement, well, we'll let them provide the show, and we'll provide the music. <laughs> <laughs> so ouch. We, ouch. So when we walked into the arena, uh, Paul Stanley was there, and he just looked at me, you know, <laughs> Yeah. I don't know if we ever recovered from that, actually. I don't think they were very happy about that. But they baited me. Uh, but anyway, so the show went fabulous. We, 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 uh, we did a great job. It, it, we, would, we, we were well rehearsed, and we just sounded like the record. Um, but anyways, we were feeling like rock stars at the end of the show. And we went backstage, uh, back to the dressing room. And I don't know who started. I might guess it was probably Hirsch, but... Um, we started trashing the, it, which is, <laughs> we trashed the, the, the dressing room, and it, it really wasn't like our nature. We, we weren't like into the, you know, the Keith Moon chainsaw stuff and, and throwing TVs out the window. 
But we got a very substantial bill after that. <laughs> it was the last time we ever did that. Yeah, yeah. Someone's got to pay for that. Somebody's got to pay for it. The band always pays for everything. Okay, so uh, we have like another minute left here. Um, bring us up to speed, kind of on you know what you're doing now, the the impetus behind this record that you uh, have released. Yeah. Well, you know, I've been thinking about this for years, uh, doing a solo record, and actually, my wife Linda, happy birthday, Linda. Um, she's the one who pushed me. Says, "Well, just do it," you know. And I, and uh, but it's a big undertaking. Um, but you know, I did. I, I I just started making the record. But I actually, I first I went out and started doing a couple of shows, and um, we did a couple of shows, and uh, they they started. They were just going really really well. So, anyways, finished the record, and and um, you know, it's been selling all over the world, which is kind of cool. Just right from my website or on iTunes or Amazon. And, and what's your website, John? Uh, <laughs> right, www.johnfannon.com. And the name of the CD is "Saved All the Pieces." Can I leave camera for a second? I'm running over here. He's he's grabbing a prop. Grabbing a prop here. Yeah, don't worry, man. There we go. That's what the CD looks like. Awesome. Saved all the pieces, John Fannin. Recorded in uh, Framingham, Massachusetts. And we'll just Great. Well, I think uh, I'm out of time, so uh, we're going to let you get on with the music. Okay, John. I'm going to have a drink and get myself ready and ready to go. Thanks, Rob. You're welcome. some noise now out there. You got to make noise. Make me feel like I'm, you know, in an arena here. Here we go. I grew up in the 60s playing my guitar. I went to Woodstock to be a star. You reminded me you reminded me You showed me who I was You showed me who I am You painted a picture Now I understand I can see it now I can see it now Across the river I see the clearing in my life all because of you Now I can hear voices singing out loud All because of you All because of you There's a story in my eyes A book on every page Rising to the surface With every line on my face I am rising I am rising You brought me to the mountain Then you kicked it aside You gave me a ladder And you told me to climb I am climbing I am climbing Across the river I see the clearing in my life All because of you Now I can hear voices singing out loud All because of you All because of you Across the river I see the clearing in my life 
all because of you. Now I can hear voices singing out loud, all because of you. All because of you. I grew up in the 60s. Better now. Are you surprised to see me? I've been waiting here. I've been waiting all night long. Talking to the mirror, looking for a sign. That's how she sees herself. That's how she makes up her mind. Whoa, 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 wicked witch is calling with a waving wand held high. She can control herself. She gonna wave her wand tonight. Hello, hello, hello. Do you like me better now? Are you surprised to see me? I've been waiting here, I've been waiting all night long Ooh yeah, yeah uh -huh. Ooh yeah, yeah, yeah Her spinning wheels are spinning As she comes out disguise She's not really the one You think you'd recognize Whoa, whoa, whoa Wicked witch is calling with her waving horn and I she can control herself. She gonna wave her wand tonight. Hello, hello, hello. Do you like me better now? Are you surprised to see me? I've been waiting here, I've been waiting all night long. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like me better now. Are you surprised to see me? I've been waiting here, I've been waiting all night long. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, listen to Ooh. Thank you. It's a little, a little hot in here. I'm going to take a little drink. This is a song from my new record. It's called Hearts Are Breaking. Someone walks away Feeling so bad 
tears upon her face Falling so fast Got no place to go All the world has come undone Hearts are breaking Heads are shaking No one wants to go Out in the fields we saw Round and round we go Hiding in a breeze We seem so far away when we don't know who to be In and out of every last drop of rain Words pour out in a silly way Hearts are breaking Heads are shaking No one wants to go Out in the fields we sound Round and round we go started writing songs many, many, many years ago, actually in the 70s. Maybe wrote a few in the late 60s, but in the early 70s. And I lived in an apartment like most people do when, they, when they're starting out uh, as an adult. And, you know, I was writing all these rock songs, but, you know, being in an apartment, I couldn't crank up my Marshall and my Les Paul, so I wrote most of the songs on acoustic guitar with the vision of them becoming a, a rock song. I'm going to take you back to one of those nights. Many years ago, I was hanging out on a rainy night, and I started playing my guitar. Stayed up all night writing the song. You're driving home in a downpour. Can't wait for you to walk through the door. The rain is beating on my brain As the look on my face stays the same Don't ever want to lose ya Don't ever want to lose ya Don't ever, don't ever want to lose ya Get you home safe Where could you be? It's getting so late Don't ever wanna lose ya Don't ever wanna lose ya 
the title track of my new record. It's called Saved All the Pieces. You can get it at www.johnfannon.com. And why I'm thinking of it, um, August 2nd, I'm playing at the uh, legendary Club Parsine. Um, I think that's a Saturday night, I think it is. And also, I'll plug this one more time, but uh, August 15th, New England is going to be playing a full headline show for the first time in over 30 years, and that's at uh, Regent Theatre in Arlington, Mass., August 15th. All these painted stories, memories of glories to get me high. I wake up every day. I still float away in thought and rhyme There's a spark in the ash That still burns bright From a shooting star that crashed in the middle of flight I saved all the pieces It's all I could do I'm lifting off the ground just to be with you You're the main reasons why I'm learning to fly I saved all the pieces For you tonight All these moving pictures Lost and found riches are everywhere Now I got a taste, a glittering trace of lights and flare, lights and flare, lights and flare. There's a spark in the ash that still burns bright from a shooting star that crashed in the middle of light. I saved all the pieces, it's all I could do. I'm lifting off the ground Just to be with you You're the main reasons why I'm learning to fly I've saved all the pieces For you tonight From a distance I found you Can't bear to waste another day for too long I've been sad Now there's so much to say
saved all the pieces It's all I could do I'm lifting off the crown Just to be with you Your main reasons why I'm learning to fly I saved all the pieces For you tonight I saved all the pieces 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 For you For you tonight For you tonight Yes, 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 more, more, more. Thank you, thank you. We got a huge crowd here tonight, a huge crowd. Okay, we're going to get over to the other side of the stage. I'm going to play for you one of my favorite New England songs off the first record. Took a little imagination to figure this out, uh, unplugged. This is called Shall I Run Away. <laughs> yourself or did you decide to stay shall I run shall I run away are you drown or are you dreaming are you making love or are you sleeping Shall I come home? Shall I run away? Shall I run
If I could fool myself, I'd be okay. Even if it's just for one more day. What to do? Oh, what to do? Shall I come home to you? Are you alone, or are you away? Are you by yourself, or did you decide to stay? Shall I come home, or shall I run away? All right, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm going to do another song for you off the new record. It's called Just You and Me. Inside a magical balloon Just me and you Sharing every breath we take From time in sky blue Just me and you
makers of a songbird in June. Just me and you. Then the crowd goes crazy. The crowd goes crazy. Thank you very much. Are we having a good time? Let me hear it. Are we having a good time? <laughs> the best thing ever. Hello to my friends in Japan and in England and Europe and all over Europe. Another song off the new record. This is called So Tied Up in You. You found a world inside of me. You woke a dream from its deepest sleep. I was running scared, circling everywhere. Then your love got in the way. I trembled like a fool. I tried. So
lot of sound coming out there, huh? We got your choir, we got your strings, the bass player. A lot going on there. I get along with this band really well, too. Another song from the new record. This is called So Here I Am. On the record, we had um, a children's choir that just met here and they had us do the little little thing up here tonight. So here I am Sitting on a cloud Waiting for my wings Don't know what to think Am I ready for this life again? Should I really go back? What should I Will all the children sing with me? gentlemen once again thank you for John Fannin thank you thank you thank next you. week is our season finale it's been a long three and a half months 
We have Elko Drive featuring Siobhan Magnus. And I think we have about eight minutes left. I don't see any fingers coming out of the booth. So. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm in the camera shot. Yeah, you can be in the camera shot. Just want to make Doing eight utilities. minutes. Doing utilities. So. Um, I'm sorry. I'm back. Got time for one more. Just want to make sure you're all ready for it. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time. Excuse me. Mr. John Fannin. Is the guitar there? There we go. This is off the Explorer Suite record. It's called Hope. One of my favorite songs on that. Open your eyes, star in your own show. Bring up the lights, walk into center stage. With all your heart, you can write a brand new page. But hey, Sister Hillary, speak to me honestly. Is there hope? Is there time? Enlighten me. Cause from the start, everything's not going well. Please stand up and bid me well. And give me hope. Just look in your eyes, you can see it all. They never lie when all is said and done. It's nothing magic, you can be your own number one. Hey, Sister Hillary, speak to me honestly. Is there hope? Is there time? Enlighten me Cause from the start Everything's not going well Please stand up and be me well Sister Hillary, speak to me honestly. Is there hope? Is there time? Enlighten me. Cause from the start, everything's not going well. Please stand up and bid me well. And give me hope. New England playing behind me here. Don't forget August 15th, Regent Theater. And 
And I'll be at Club Parsim, August 2nd, doing my plugs. Saved All the Pieces is my new record. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And they're standing up. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>